Well, I got a text late last night asking to be here today, uh, and I mean, this is the first time in years I've seen this, the Falls Road come to a standstill. British government are hypocrites, we've already known that. The arrest of Jerry Adams proves it yet again. Trees of Villiers knock him back. An inquiry into the, the Bala Murphy killings, Trees of Villiers ignoring the new Lodge 6, and Trees of Villiers knowing who it was that ordered and executed those orders on Bloody Sunday, and there's, the list goes on, unfortunately. We have our party president who has led by example for almost 40 years. His popularity, the length of breath of the island, increases. We're not here to be popular, we're here because we're doing a good job. The people of Ireland have voted and have said that Jerry Adams is probably the most popular leader. And a month ago, Jerry Adams said that he's willing to come forward for any question and, and they decide to make the arrest now. And I think it is cynical and I think it is political policing. Well, um, I've been speaking to people all over um, Belfast over this past period, and even outside of Belfast, and people are very, very angry. People are very, very concerned that this uh, very, very clear um, political interference um, uh, in terms of Jerry's arrest, it's very, very clear to people that the, the, there's, a, the, the, there's forces here at work that are anti-peace process, there's forces here at work that are elements of political policing that's left over from the old days of the RUC and there's also forces at work from the British government as well and people are very very angry about that and very concerned about that. Owen, Maria Farrell, Youth Committee mobilised heavily for today. What's the feeling within young people in Belfast? There's a lot of anger, everybody's very angry. It's very frustrating too because I feel like there's not more that we can do. Uh, so a few of us got together with Danny the Venom, had a wee idea about doing a mural. It was a project, uh, it took us about six hours to do, but clearly the response has been fantastic. Um, as I says, everybody's very angry, uh, and rightly so. We just hope that things go away over the next, over, over the next day or two. Uh, if it doesn't, we'll still be here for Jerry, uh, and we're, and we're uh, very determined and, and confident uh, that they'll be out uh, and they'll lead us into these elections on May 22nd and May 23rd. There's about eight cars of us come up today, and we wanted to make a stand with Jerry Adams. No BS here. The people on the doors are turning and they're turning really, really fast. They're very furious. Their quotes are, do they think we're fools? Uh, uh, a, a shot in the foot, uh, an own goal. No, we will be voting Sinn Féin. Nothing will keep us away from voting Sinn Féin. And I think the establishment, and I include the one in the south, need to be careful and need to be wary because we're on the rise and this will not stop us. I've been very privileged for over 20 years to work very, very closely with Gerry Adams in bringing about the political and security transformation that we have witnessed here in the North in recent times. These have been some of the most historic negotiations that this island has ever seen. <coughs> it has brought an end to conflict, it has brought an end to war, and has presented ourselves as Irish Republicans with a real opportunity to move forward to bring about the reunification of our people and our country by purely peaceful and democratic means. For someone of his caliber, for someone of his leadership to find himself where he is today on the basis of discredited tapes from Boston is a total and absolute disgrace. what this mural says to the world today. Jerry Adams is a peacemaker. Jerry Adams is a leader and Jerry Adams is a visionary. There would be no peace process but for his absolute and total commitment and dedication to it. Jerry Adams is committed to moving this process forward and Jerry Adams will not be deterred or deflected and neither will we. The dark side of policing fear him and they fear us and that's why they do what they do. But we're here today to stand with our friend, to stand with our colleague, 
to stand with our leader and I have absolute confidence that Jerry Adams will join us in our continuing struggle for freedom, justice and peace. <laughs> in my ward botanic is palpable from Jerry Adams' arrest. People see this very much as political policing and there is complete anger within our community. And it was great that we had this demonstration here today to show the anger that the citizens right across Belfast and indeed across the island have to this uh, blatant form of political policing. It must end now. Jerry Adams has been to the fore of the peace process and building that peace and reconciliation and we demand his immediate release. Paul, what sort of reaction are you getting from the people of West Belfast? Well, one of anger that our party president is now um, in a police custody. And I mean, people are showing a complete anger. But by doing so today, they came out in their thousands today at a rally and a, and a launch of a mural on the Falls Road. And I think that as people came from West Belfast, but all over Ireland, and that was very clearly demonstrated here today. And I think that's a saying where people want to vent their anger. But Sinn Féin has given them that um, today by organising this event at the mural launch. The best way for people to get even in this is to come out and vote for Sinn Féin on the 22nd and on the 23rd of this month. European elections and the local government elections. People will have their chance to get even here. People have their chance on those two dates to send out a very clear message to the British and the Irish establishments that Sinn Féin are here, Sinn Féin are working for the people and the people are behind our party president and are behind Sinn Féin.